We in the basement. It's your boy Marico, Million Roll Easy, Low 300. We are in the basement. Very special guest today. Very special guest today. My man, Food Roll Easy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Doing the goddamn thing, nigga. Dope ass videographer, one of the number one videographers in the DMV. I'm saying he also is a producer. Rapper, and I don't know what else to have this nigga do. I do all that shit, Peggy. All that shit. shit. You know what I'm saying? Um, all that shit. <laughs> so, uh, basically, you know what I'm saying? He's been doing this thing. How long you been shooting videos and stuff for the, uh, all this around here? Five years, man. Five years? Yeah. 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 He's been doing this thing for okay. a goddamn Five long years. ass time. I've been watching him do his thing. Um, he, he was talking shit. about a lot of the little stuff that go on in the background of the uh, DMV and whatnot. So, how you feel about the DMV scene right now? I feel like it's warming up. Mm -hmm. okay. Do you like feel like it's going to get somewhere within the next couple years though? Like hell week? yeah, especially in a couple years. Hell yeah, man. I feel like I feel like as long as everybody play their role and do what they do and stay as original as possible mm -hmm. right. and become the Jews that everybody can possibly be, when people come searching, man, it's gonna be the golden spot, man. Right. So shit, so we got about to have the MGM here. Yeah, we about to yeah. we got all yeah, these right, right. we got all these tour spots. They done clinked the fuck out of DC. Yeah. Man. So there's the tour spots, man. It's, it's it's about to be more safe and more things, more sightings when you get when you come here. So man. the talent yeah. from you chefs, from chefs, producers, right. clothing designers, we yeah. have it all. Right. Yeah. We have it all. Yeah. As long as everybody stay. Yeah, hell yeah. Shout out to Wizzle X, man. My man, greatest Wizzle X doing this. Uh, uh, stay original. Can't go wrong, man. Okay. Can't go wrong. So who's some of the uh, some of the the dope artists you see doing anything uh, that you that you done work with like lately? That I don't work with? That you, that you that if you have done work with. Man. Ted Bucks. Uh-huh. You all you always stamp Ted Bucks, man. And I, I never checked Ted him out. Bucks. I ain't even gonna lie, I have not checked I seen Bucks, the, the couple the, the video you did where he's he did the joint Gucci did, uh it was a little the instrumental Gucci did. I'm not sure what the name of it. It was like a Tokyo type of theme to it. Mm -hmm. But um, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? I haven't checked him out. Who else? Um Shout out Ted Bucks. I'm gonna check you out, yeah, bro. Yeah. Just cause this hood rope said so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely check uh, Ted Bucks out. Ted yeah, definitely. Bucks. You might as well time. sit down and roll the dope too, cause this nigga in the basement every goddamn day, <laughs> every shit. any other time. This is a familiar face. One of our guests here. He's a familiar, a familiar face. Familiar face in here. Come on. We got Super on. Cool Cat in hey. hey. What's well, up, bitch? So yeah, who else? Who well, else we got? Um, Flip flops. Come. As far as like right now. Let's see. As far as I think, like that's really doing their thing. Mm -hmm. I feel like everybody else still got polishing to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. That's real. I feel like. Right. I feel real. like. I feel like, and that's why I said Ted Bucks because for real, for real. So he's there already. He sleeps on himself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He sleeps on himself. So he there. He just don't know. It. He's polished and don't even know it. Okay. Right? okay. He polished. Oh, All yeah. somebody got to do is hit him. That can make it happen. He did. Right. You know. As far, but he's a vet. He's not a rookie. Right. He's been in this for a long time. So, you know, he pretty much just relaxed with it now. Like, right. he, he still have fun with it, but he mm -hmm. don't really take it serious. But he got it. Everybody else, I feel like they got a lot of lessons to learn. Mm -hmm. They got, they they been around too many yes men. Mm -hmm. Right. You know, a lot right. of them need the hard truth. Right. And uh, once they get that. So, you the man to tell them anyway. Right. Well, hey, I, I, do. I do. I do. I do. Uh, I do. To that, to that, to what we were talking about earlier with that Glizzy situation. Because I seen you did some videos and it was, uh, what was his name? Uh, Rainbow. Rainbow Glizzy, you mm -hmm. do, and now I was like, okay, are they with Shy Glizzy? And nah, they explain not. that to people, because a lot of people they never not. do that. I never nah, do that. They, you know uh, what I'm saying? Nah, they doing it. They definitely doing their own thing. Mm -hmm. It's definitely a, a split. It's not. Right. It's not the same. Okay. You gotcha. know. Um, so the are they Glizzy beefing, game? or they just don't really click with each other? They don't know each other. What's the well, situation? Well, okay. Cause you the man behind don't, the scenes. I am the man behind the scenes. But you don't know everything. You say I don't you know everything. To keep it one hundred, you say he don't know the exact. Don't, don't quote me on story. everything because right. I have. Put it like this: a rumor. lot of the youngins. This is based on rumor. A, a lot of the youngins, <laughs> rumor, you know what I'm saying? That, that <laughs> right. know me. They hit me. They hit me to you certain know how things. Like, be. I just recently Who found out that they go by Glizzy Murder Gang. Hood merch and shit. And um. When, when I was talking to Raymo the other day, and I was like, you know, somebody told me y'all go by Glizzy Murder Gang now. He said, oh, yeah, man, you know, shit different now. And I was like, what's going on? He was like, man, I'm about to send you this song. He going to shoot a video to the score track. Mm -hmm. And he said he, he speaks on it. Mm -hmm. So, you know, y'all look forward to that. Y'all going to look forward to that video. 
and we're gonna shoot that. But he's pretty much spilled the beans in the situation. But to give y'all a heads up on what's going on, you know, Shaw rearranged the whole Glizzy gang movement that he was running with. He changed mm -hmm. up. He he running with you know um, what three Glizzy, thirty Glizzy, three, yeah, three Glizzy, um, thirty Glizzy, Glue, Glue. I ain't heard of him. Yeah, Goo Glizzy. But he was with Major Boys. Mm -hmm. the, Major the, the original group I was telling you about. When it was Shy Glizzy, Pinky. Pinky Killer King Shug. Yeah. I've never heard of King Shug, but I heard of Pinky. Because she was hippie like Yeah, yeah. King Shug. Yeah. 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 So, um, so she just straight up changed up from the that to hippie life crew. You know what I'm saying? That's who she running with now. Yeah, she was Pink okay. Dog. And then after that, it did, uh, then she turned to uh, Pinky Killer Corn. So you know, hippie, yeah, she's so she learn something new every day. Right, yeah, right. yeah Pinky been doing this for a long time. Oh yeah, yeah, man. Pinky been doing this for a long time. Man, I mean, please. I didn't even know when I first I first met her. Uh, two Two Fly, shout out to Two Fly. Yeah, so, we know about Two Fly. Yeah. <laughs> 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 so, yeah, yeah. So, uh, I, I was shooting at the Two Common Fly. Lounge. Yeah. I was shooting at the Common Ooh, Lounge. Uh, <laughs> and when I was filming, I was filming. Pinky just walked smooth in, just. Boom! And I'm like, who is this shit? Like, cause everybody was just flocking around her, and she had her hat on, and she came in, and she grabbed a mic, and just went in. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No wait, no nothing. She just went in. Mm -hmm. And I was like, who the fuck is this? Like, she just raw with it though, mm -hmm. just going. It didn't matter what was going on in the background. She just did her. Mm -hmm. Outside, spitting off the dome, she did it again, raw. Mm -hmm. So that's now you know I like yeah I respect this I see what she what she I see why they let her get away this was right. years ago years ago okay Cause I actually just I don't want to say years, years ago right but a minute ago a minute ago you know yeah. Yeah. I, I remember Shout out to the, the hippie home. life crew y'all yeah yeah, yeah. 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 I first met her at the Psych Oswald I remember the car on it was a car on my own that's dope all right so we will be right back in the big world has that fire for that ass fire for that ass Fire for that. Uh. Hey, boy, crazy, nigga. Say it, but. See, I don't even shut. Let's go. Hey, yeah. Mmm. Uh huh. I done pitch rocks the water like Andy Griffin. Uh -huh. I say no beef, but bring hammers like Thor. On the low key, on the ladder tree. Fat joints, no elbow knee. Though these niggas thirsty, that's hard to swallow the whole tip. I say I'm OC over OC, that's the old me. I make it rain on these hoes, shit. They told me it's a MOB, no handcuffs, no police. Hold these niggas, listen closely. Approach the front row, please. You get a nosebleed from the flow seat. I'm an OG, they want to smoke me like Smokey. No weed, don't try bust. Give me fired up, then they tied up. OT told me keep going. Proceed, don't blow cheese. Team, no sleep. So I bang, ring, slow sleep. No cold feet. D.O.B. Uh, so deep uh, in your freak Cold street, so we in this bitch And she cozy, you know me, the irony I had her smoking strong the whole week Wait, hold a bit I had her smoking strong the whole week It can get so deep Ask your bitch, she tell me And we are back in the basement Nah, 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 we gonna talk about this shit for a second I'm calling out another rapper today Another rapper uh, what's it? Kappa. 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 Uh, what the hell? Oh, go by man. nothing else. Kappa the battle rapper. <laughs> been ducking wreck. You know what I'm saying? I call it like it is. Mariko calls it like it is, and you you can say what it is. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to battle cat. That's another rapper who don't want to battle cat. I'm sorry. I'm not on. You know, I'm not on cat. Cat ain't the man. I'll be cat battle rap. I'll be cat in the battle rap. You know what I'm saying? He don't want that smoke. But I'm saying right now, Kappa <laughs> don't want to battle fucking super right. cool cat. Cause the nigga. You know what I'm saying? He know what it is for real. You you want a hundred dollars and that shit was nothing. He he said he'll put up five hundred to your two fifty. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, I'll put up another five hundred to your two fifty. You know what I'm saying? That's how we is. We talking money. Let's get to this money, nigga. Fuck everything else. Easy. Back to the interview with my man. You know what I'm saying? I do that shit. Like that. Um, approach, man. Like before we went to the break and checked everything out, man. You was saying. Did this nigga just randomly put some shades on? My bad. I just looked though we got shades on. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> but no, this is gonna come up came back this oh, way. This is not yes, cross this is cross brand. Cross <laughs> brand. Shit, cross brand. Too much. <laughs> but David You said you said we have a gold mine here in the DMV if people just pretty much follow their role. He was saying it's behind the scenes, you know what I'm saying? 
No, I was saying people gotta people gotta stay in their lane and just do them to the best of their ability. Right. And just turn up. I think people worry about what the next man doing. Right. Mm-hmm. If a nigga, if a nigga, go to this corner and sell all his cookies, the next nigga go go to that same corner and, instead yeah. of going two blocks down the street and see what right. they got going on. Right. Right. You know, it's too much. People watching with how everybody else getting discovered, not realizing that your success story is going to be different from somebody else's. Right. Right. Way different. So by you following their same path, all you going to do is be disappointed years later. Like, why the fuck Shane pop off yet? Right. Because right. you're not him. Take those fucking shoes off. Right. Right. Because this, this, and this comes up a lot in the DMV basement. Originality, <laughs> originality is something that everybody's pushing for, but at the same time, it seems like they still trying to duplicate something. Right. And you were talking about people not having their own, their own productions, not being able to afford, right. you know what I'm saying? They, or, or, or not necessarily no not being able to afford, afford it, but, you know, not even looking to get their own beats and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That, right. So, <coughs> yeah. Look, what do you want to say, Kat? Let's see. I, I, I want you to finish. I just was piggyback. I wanted to ask you a question and to reference what you were saying about, like, how the cookies and they keep selling on the same block. Well, go ahead and ask the question. I mean, but isn't that pretty much like how they are with the open mics right now. Yeah. Isn't that isn't isn't that the same? I I feel like Well how hey, how how do you feel about the open mic scene? Because he was hey halfway I feel like on, you know I feel like I feel like it, it, I, I, No I'm, a, I'm <laughs> See you gonna get two different opinions from somebody that that's been in and out of open mics for a uh-huh. long very period of time mm-hmm. versus somebody that's just getting their feet wet. Right. I feel like you can never, you can never be tired of an open mic mm-hmm. if you go there, if you go there for the right reasons. Right. Now, what are the reasons you're going there? For? Right. To sharpen up your performance. <coughs> That's, That's it. it. Exactly. That's, That's it. Right. That's all. Now, <coughs> if you see somebody else do that motherfucker before your eyes, and you you give them that stand ovation, drop the pride, link up, do the song. Right. Keep it moving. Mm-hmm. That's what I feel like should be the only thing on everybody's mind at the open mic. Just go, network. perform, and network. Uh-huh. If your A game is good on stage, mm-hmm. then I can understand it. But you cannot be tired of an open mic if you forget your words. And it's a lot of niggas that think right. they're if nice, you, but they right. not nice, though. If you if you can't even bring motherfuckers out, okay. you know what I'm saying? Like, so how do you know if you're nice, though? Because that because to me, I, bro, I see well, so well, many well, niggas well, in well, I'm 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 going to say this. I'm going to say this because I can't even say... When people walk up to you and tell you you're nice, because some t- people will think that you're nice but have too much pride to tell you. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. You know, for everybody's own so reason. So what's the so when 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 you when do you know basically? You don't know. You just got to know yourself that you're nice. Where? But I mean, I don't think nobody can really give you that stamp that you know what I'm saying you're nice. Like yeah, you, you could be you nice, could be you talented. Really you could be talented nice. as shit and you're go in nice. and give people just get all cold stares. Mm-hmm. When really they just like, damn, this nigga fucked me up. But they're not giving you that, oh, shit, man, right, you right, did that, right. motherfucker. Uh-huh. So it's like, it's hard to really say what kind of stamp you're you going to get that's going to let you know when you're nice with it. Mm-hmm. But I, what I can say is, when you have familiar, when you have more more than one, two, three people coming in, I'm here to see so-and-so. I'm here to see so-and-so. I'm here to see so-and-so. When you go home after performing, you go on Instagram, and you got like at least four or five videos from different people's cell phones after seeing you do your thing. Right, yeah. You on your way. Mm-hmm. Right, because that's you on your way. Because yeah, that's right. the, that's the that's audience. That's real. That's you on your way. What it is, you know, niggas like an open mic man. Like sometimes niggas be making me disappointed that I just chilled on my rap shit. Right. Like I so bad want to just get a CD just to sell it. Right. Just yeah. so I can sell it, just to show niggas you can still right. eat on the street with this shit. Right. You know, mm-hmm. you can still eat. So why but you, you do it? Why do that? Hey, what's stopping you? You get money. Nah, you nah. ain't your lane. You just no, your lane. I will. I will say this: Hood Roast TV killed my passion for music. Okay, it killed. I'm not even me no more, mm-hmm. and I can honestly say that I don't even feel 100 percent of who I was before I was really fun with the music videos because it killed that side of me that I used Why? to wake up and make beats. Why? Because it's like therapy to get on a mic and record. It's therapy. So it why feels you stop good. doing it? Because I'm flooded with work. Right. I'm so gonna work hard. I put I myself in a situation where I don't got time for no bitches. I ain't got time to hang with niggas. I'm just gonna shoot, edit, get my money, shoot, edit, and learn as I go. Right. And and at the same way, well, it it helped. It, it made me it made me a better person in some ways. But at the same time, it fucked up a lot of shit too. Mm-hmm. Like I'm so unorganized, man. 
I will miss a like when when you hit me. You know your faults. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? When yeah. you hit me, you know what I'm saying? Like my communication. It mm-hmm. is fucked up. But people will take it deeper than what it is. Right. And it's like, damn, I don't have that time to explain this to you or this person on Twitter or this person in my DM on 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 I mean on, in my inbox or on Facebook or this person that's come cussing me out on my my my, my recent picture on Instagram. Right. Thinking that because I'm not answering the phone that I'm ducking the call. Yeah. Well, really, I'm on my fucking iPad mm-hmm. waiting for my phone to charge. Right. And it got, to, it got to get to 100%. Because <laughs> if I take that bitch off at 45 and boom, 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 that shit right back down right, to right. Cause I Cause I You feel me? I do. You know I remember, so? uh, I remember the time we shot, we shot with Roach. And afterwards, we went to go eat. Uh-huh. And the nigga, the nigga is eating. And he had his plate, and then he was like this, and he was motherfucking working. Like With we was relaxing, kicking it, we eat, you know what I'm saying? And that nigga was still right there, just working. The nigga was on his motherfucking computer. Mm-hmm. The nigga was on his phone. Yeah, and he had right. shit. Right. Nigga been on this shit for a minute, man. Right? Yes, sir. We gotta get into the segments of the week. Look, look, last week you wasn't here, so I hit the joint for you, motherfucker. Segments of the week. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Alright, segments of the week with your boy Million Mo Easy. I ain't even gonna swear to you, I did not even prep for this. I ain't prep at all for this shit. So, since my man Hood Rose been working with a lot of artists in the DMV, he gonna give us artists of the week. Who, who, who would you give artists of the week to, Hood Rose? <laughs> right now, I give artists of the week to Chucky Swag. Chucky Swag. Hey, shout out to Chuck Swag. I just did a song with Chuck Swag, man. Uh-huh. That nigga's a beast, man. Shout yeah, to Chuck I Swag. give, I give. I give, I give him odds of the week. Okay. Cause um, I can say that he's he been turning the fuck up. Okay. Right. Tell you the know. people something they can check out then. Uh, just Chucky Swag. Chucky oh, just type right. it in. Right. Just type in Chucky Swag, two G's, and it's gonna come down there. Man, you just check out the work. Um, Chuck's Avenue on the way. Yeah. Swag <laughs> right after for that. A long ass time. Yeah. Right? That shit. yeah, you you know what? You know what? You know what? You know what? And the and the, and the crazy thing about that is the um his 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 official project that he did this year is gonna be following up right after it. Where? But he you know when you deal with engineers that don't put their all behind their craft, it uh-huh. sets you back because uh, right. you know your engineer is the soul <coughs> to your project. Uh-huh. Right. You know, yeah. Yeah. and he yeah. had an episode where the engineer wasn't on his dean and it set him back. And you can't just jump uh-huh. out there with nothing not mixed. Right. All right, Chuck, you know? like we waiting for that project, so, man. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Tell the people yeah. stop bullshitting so we can hear that. All right, yeah. week. That thing coming out soon, though, man. Next up, I'm doing producer of the week. Think I'm how to get on with to my good man Cash. That's fine right there, GKZ Cash. family. Oh, you know man. what I'm saying? Robert oh, Bob, man. producer of the week. If, if you just freestyling, you know what I'm saying? I, I got to drop a plug with my man J.R. Flange. Man. Okay, you know J.R. Flange. You know what I mean? J.R. Flange. Oh, yeah. I know J.R. from you know way back when. That's my man. J.R. been saying? doing his thing. I got to put my beard yeah. in. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He also so we got multiple producers of the week. Yeah. Sweet. Sweet. J.R. Flange. <laughs> then we got Cash. Nominated by Cool Cat. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, I got to throw my head. All right, we're about to pull up on the moves of the week. What's the moves of the week? Moves of the week tomorrow, hip hop yoga. You know what I'm saying? University of Maryland, that's each and every week. I'm going to keep saying it because they doing something tomorrow. Tomorrow, that's next Thursday. No, boy, that's tomorrow. It's tomorrow? Tomorrow, Thursday. Okay. Every oh, damn, Thursday. Tomorrow is Thursday. God damn. Yeah, boy. What's wrong with y'all, man? Every Thursday, that is tomorrow night, each and every Thursday. You know, rest of your <laughs> <laughs> nigga here. Friday, you know what I'm saying? Uh, oh, yeah. Aqua yeah. Lounge. Aqua Lounge. It is. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, up and up. We Aqua Lounge Fridays. Yeah, Aqua Lounge on Friday. You know, pretty Girl Friday. Yeah, yeah. Hosted by the DMV Pretty Girls. Ooh, Pretty so, Girl Friday. Yeah, like ladies that. is free all night. Of course, you're Goodness gracious. 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 Like, he probably, he probably put a drink to add low with the foot cookie last. You know what's up. I ain't even gonna say all that. Man, you know, no, 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 all right, man. All right, man. He told me I couldn't do that. Friday. <laughs> ladies night out, man. Mm-hmm. Off and on. It's Friday. Saturday. We got on. Um, sip. Sip and out. Sip. Sip. Oh, what's your mind? Yeah, yeah. You, you love him. Sip and out with the boy Million Mo Easy, man. Turning that motherfucker up. Sunday, we're gonna have uh, turntables, which mm-hmm. our man be the 
Shout out to Bizel. Sure. You know, I'm saying every Sunday we're doing this thing. Oh, we, we got, got Uptown Tuesdays. What Tuesday? Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Uptown Tuesdays. Add an influence. And that's the segments of the week. And that's how it's the moves of the week. Moves of the week. And that yeah, is the yeah. segments of the week with your boy William O'Easy. And that's that was the DMV in basement. It's your boy Marico, Million Mo'Easy, Low 300, special Easy. guest, super cool cat. And the, you know what I'm saying, guest of the day, Hood Roast. Hood Roast TV. Hood Roast TV. Hood Roast TV. Thank you for tuning in. Now we're tuning out. Hood Roast TV. 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 Hood Roast T